Right, hello, 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 and welcome. I know it's been a while, but welcome back. It's the first stream of the summer, and we're just going to be playing something random. I saw Galactic Air was out. So, uh, yeah, I felt like giving a go. This game is basically like the space theme hospital or uh, those kind of hospital games. It should be fun, should be silly. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? Might have to turn the music down just a tad, actually, because it's a bit loud side. That could just be me. Just a smidge. There we go. Hmm. Okay, chapter one, orientation. Let's do it. Director. Let me be the first to congratulate you on your appointment. Ms. Orion and I are excited to see how you'll rise to the occasion. We're establishing our first facility right here in orbit around Earth. Ms. Orion is already on site. Let's get this thing kicked off, shall we? Alrighty then. I'm gonna mute myself real quick as I open up my Coke. Okay. Glistening before you and silhouetted against the green marble of Earth is Galactic Air's newest high orbit station and your first hospital. I am Heal, the AP assigned to all of Galactic Air's extrasolar operations. Think of me as your personal assistant, for it is my duty to assist you in all things healthcare as we strike out amongst the stars. Soon, patients from all throughout the solar system will darken our halls, bringing with them all sorts of awful maladies and excretions. Many bots on standby, director. Ugh. Before then, Ms. Orion wishes to fire the starting gun personally. I'm sure we'll be receiving a call from her any moment now. Yeah, and there she is. The prompt at the bottom right of your user interface will answer her call. There's no rush. Bonjour, guten tag, Mushi Moshi director, and welcome to Galactic Air. Yeah. It's Mushi time to bring this dream of ours to life. I can't wait to see this hospital up and running. Personally, the little robots. I'm not one for all this nitty gritty management stuff. Very I'd Wally. Be in the lab, so that's why you're here. Remember, if you ever feel lost, you can review your objectives in the top right corner of your interface. Take it away, heel. Thank you, ma'am. Director, let's start with a particularly fun section. Calibrating sensors and perspective. Right. Yes. We'll be panning, rotating, and even zooming your camera. Both in and out, my dear. Thrilling stuff. Your objectives should be displayed now. If they're not, then everything is broken, and it may be simpler for you to resign. Look at okay. this girl spinning around like a gyra. I feel vaguely ill. Who spin me right round, baby, oh, right round. The hospital, patients, and preventing death, profit, and so on. Very well then. To do healthcare, we will require both a reception desk and a diagnosis room. Let's first place a reception desk so that we can process patients as they arrive. I've highlighted the menu in which you will find said desk. Wonderfully placed. Now all we need is a diagnosis room. Ms. Orion should be calling with the details momentarily. Girl, what you want? The diagnosis room is our patient's first step on the minimum. to recovery. It's where we evaluate what's gone wrong with their meaty bodies. Also, tiny spinny drones come out of it, which is very cool and entirely necessary. Let's get that diagnosis room up and running. Mm. If you're ever unsure what to do, select any of your objectives and I'll help to point you in the right direction. With the room selected, you can now begin to place the one before. Uh, however, an empty room will not by itself facilitate the healthcare. We must first place a door and then the room's required objects. In the case of diagnosis, we need a desk and a display. Your construction display will share. Yeah, that's the diagnosis room, Eddie. Now we'll need a treatment room. Ms. Orion will be in touch with the juicy details. You see? Why are they juicy? Skin! Everyone oh. has it. Unless they have an exoskeleton, or nothing at all. The Skin Lab uses proprietary chemicals to coat our patients in a gentle foam, which strips off their outsides and rebuilds them from scratch. It's relatively painless. I use the Skin Lab instead of a shower sometimes. That doesn't sound safe. Kind of perfectly fits there, let's be real. A 
Excellent. We have our first runes. More to come, I'm sure. However, I think there's still something missing. As we're a healthcare organization, we will need some doctors. Pop open the recruitment menu on the left-hand bar and review your various candidates. Mm. And there they are, Director. You can see their name, species, and traits that are unique to them. We currently have old and human candidates, and are restricted to them for reasons which I can assure you are culturally sensitive. I'm certain you'll come to find the unique traits of the galaxy's different sapiens particularly helpful for your work. Choose a candidate when you're ready. Increases the influence generated during treatment, okay. Use XP, drops litter everywhere. You can place that newly hired doctor wherever you like, even directly in a room, which will assign it as their primary task. Hmm. Excellent work. Your new staff will set about their tasks in your rooms, aiding our soon-to-be patients. Doctors gain experience as they work, and more experienced doctors are, as you'd imagine, better at things. Due to capitalism, staff require payment on a regular basis, so do be sure not to overhire and inflate your expenses. An excellent set of rooms and doctors, Director, that will surely excel at treating patients. We're indicating their patients, but sorry. Ambition. Speaking of which, your legally mandated commendation, known in human society as payment, is yours to claim. Rue awards human influence. I don't know what that does, but sure. We are ready to open the hospital. Let's see if we can't get our patients back to their rent pods in. Greetings, Director. That was One not piece. what I meant to do. Ready to begin? Let's get her and done. Away we go. Time to treat some of these poor fellows. Patients are arriving now, Director. They shall scuttle about our hospital and deposit their various detritus within its once sterile halls. The Ode are a curious bunch. Although they're all clones, they revere old age, competing with each other to see who can live in any one body the longest. Once they retired from their dreams of galactic empire, they developed an oh, damn, a mass amount of text there. humanity. It began with crop circles and cow abductions and ended up in appropriating the most problematic parts of 1950s earth culture, surf rock and traditional gender roles. We can make this into like a little waiting area. A oh, toilet pod? We love them. They Do we? are us sometimes. Not always, though. Humans are a lot of things. And one of those things is that they're social beings. They'll improve our influence whenever they complete treatments. Also, they've accidentally engineered a dystopia where corporations have become kingdoms. So that's great. Uh, sorry. That's a conversation for another time, I guess. Uh, it appears we've received a patient with a shattered arm. Let's inspect them and see if we can't mend their appendage. So are you, buddy? Behold, the patient panel. Oh. I've highlighted the condition track. This fellow's condition requires them to be reboned, and for that, we'll need a boning chamber. Giggity. The boning chamber, a retrofitted mining Called machine, Harold. which chomps fresh, minty new skeletons directly into our patients. An assistant engineer fitted the schematic with internal cameras for personal reasons that'll teach me to poach staff from salazan anyway that's all fixed and it's mostly safe mostly what the fuck ah, the boning chamber a fine room indeed i do rather admire the machine in there rather charming actually i think i'll call him harold 
haven't the foggiest idea why. You may find yourself running short on space in our initial hospital area. You can expand to other nearby areas by selecting them and paying a small fee. Uh, to whom, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, now that we've got a few treatment rooms up and running, let's talk about keeping our staff and patients happy. Let's inspect one of our doctors to grasp the full extent of their needs. Through this panel, we can see the various qualities and needs that define our doctor. This is their mood. A happy doctor will perform their job efficiently, whereas an unhappy doctor is more likely to make mistakes. Okay. If their mood gets too low, they may simply leave. You can see the various thoughts and feelings impacting their mood here. For example, witnessing the death of a patient may result in a degree of momentary sadness. Physical needs, like hunger and energy, are fulfilled by vending machines, staff lounges, toilets, and so on. By the looks of things, this individual needs to unwind in a staff lounge. This one's pretty straightforward. It's a staff lounge. Staff will go in there and lounge. There's a fire pit in everything. We considered a mindfulness cue, but people found the idea nightmarish. <laughs> so they get this instead. I don't get it. I love the cube. I'll go in there sometimes just to scream at the walls. Great de-stressor. Sounds we a staff lounge, lest good. Employees descend into absolute madness. We should also ensure we provide both staff and patients with places to sit, uh, something to eat, and toilets in which they may relieve themselves. Cool. I've got to place a bin in there. Okay. Um. facilities have been installed and the number of organics who have relieved themselves in the hospital has slipped under the bar for legal concern. Bravo, Director. You have provided everything organics need for a state of mild comfort. Yay, more ship. Director, it's time to meet your marginally useful maintenance crew. This is a Medibot. They've been purchased at low cost and reprogrammed to maintain our equipment and clean up various forms of vomit. The nice. robot is waving. <laughs> Medi, are you What's waving? Up, are you waving your awful little hands? It appears that Medi wishes to speak to you. Uh, not to worry, I doubt it has much to say. Hello, new director. It's me, Medi. Heel says I'm a toaster. And that I might actually be useful if I was dropped in someone's bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, that comment is slightly off out of context, Director, but you may rest assured that Medi has no clue what's going on. Well, I guess so. Also, he'll keep saying I'm a fake boy, and being programmed to imitate humanity is a disgrace. He's my best friend! <laughs> Medi, you don't have any friends because you're not real. Of course I do. Because you're my friend. And so is this giant creature who's about to eat the station. Oh, oh shit, what the fuck? What in the world is going on? Hello there. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, your name is what now? I think it's okay, Heel. 
It's just a really big alien. Baz, got it. It's a colossal. Secondly, please refrain from use of the term alien in reference to non-human sapiens. Director, the alien is somehow hailing us, though not on any identifiable frequency. It's almost as though it's directly pushing buttons inside the station's systems. And in the absence of any better ideas, perhaps it's best to uh, pick up the phone. Yeah, sure. Electronic and eukaryotic persons of Galactica. I am Mazanoros Orgoria. Baz is also fine, in the interests of brevity. I developed these painful glowing spots about mm, 4,000 years ago. Ooh. I wondered if you could come and have a look at me. Director, this is an opportunity we can't pass up. Colossals are notoriously elusive. Few even get to talk to them, let alone get all up in their biology. Let's help him out. First, you'll need to dispatch a ship from the shuttle bay to take a biopsy. That Do I have a shuttle? Look at all the deliciously novel gubbins inside our new friend. Oh. The shuttle is ready to dispatch at your command, Director. Sometimes problems too big for the hospital. You need to dispatch a shuttle. Okay. Well, off you go then. And away she goes! Our shuttle will collect the sample from Baz via a gentle, non-invasive surgical translocation beam. It feels great. Like scratching an itch. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> Ooh, that feels nice. A bit like scratching an old itch. Told ya. Right, yo. The shuttle is back with the sample we just took. It'll now be unloaded from the shuttle in an adorable canister. AI-driven medical devices, which behave much like patients do, just with less, you know, brains. We'll need to send it to diagnosis to figure out our next steps. Remember, you can always select the relevant task in the objective window for more information. Director, we'll want that canister to make it through its diagnosis as quickly as possible. Fortunately, you can set it as a priority. Uh, how? Hit the priority button here to make sure the canister is seen. Prioritizing a patient or canister in this manner will place it at the front of any queue it joins. You should use this for, well, anything you like, really, but emergencies in particular. Let's get on the doctor. Eddie bread loves, let's go. Baz's skin is remarkable. I've already identified seven brand new proteins. This will redefine our understanding of what meat can be. Despite his freaky space flesh, I don't see why we couldn't fix him up with freaky a new cocktail space flesh, from our huh? lab. Now it's time for those canisters to go in the other direction. Let's fill some up, load them into a shuttle, and hose down our new friend with a pharmaceutical cocktail strong enough to melt turbo steel beams. Sorry, people. We're gonna take care of the big boy. Oh, what? You're right, mate.
Oh, you could change the color of them. They'll bite any sapiens they encounter, causing their victim to evacuate their guts directly onto the floor. Director, Medi is perfectly capable of dispatching these vomitons himself, but if you fancy it, you can use the station's coils to eject the pests from our mortal coil. <laughs> You're funny, huh? Just a, a little death-based pun for your mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Canisters are brimming with our new colossal regeneration fluids and waiting in your docking bay. Let's get them sent out. I can't wait to see if this works. If it doesn't, we may all be going to jail. <laughs> Exciting. I'm sorry, what? Despite Why? the shuttle when you're ready, Director. Why are we going to jail? She's away. Keep an eye on the display, Director. We'll see the fruits of our labors any moment now. Hey, look at you, you're spot free. Congratulations. Oh, that medicine of yours really hits the spot. Glad to be rid of that itch. It felt like there was something different about you. And there's the proof. Before I go, I collect trinkets, things traded or earned. I find these exchanges build interesting bonds between cultures. Have some of this stabilizing solution as thanks. Thanks. Postpones uh, untimely death. Okay. Allowing additional time for treatment. Oh, nice. May cause hair loss. Well, you know. Well, I'm off. Thank you, Galactic Air. I'm sure we'll see each other soon. Well, we've just treated a higher dimensional talking cetacean. I'm going to hold my breath until my heart rate comes down and map out these new organs. Maybe I'll name one after you. A delightful performance to watch, Director. The stabilizing solution Baz gave us has remarkable properties. It'll fully replenish the health of any patients you use it on. Rather handy if there are specific people you'd rather didn't, uh... Uh, die. Should you ever have need of more, you can make use of the craftium we've been collecting to fabricate them from the inventory panel. Mm -mm -mm. is to provide the best possible healthcare service and we're constantly evaluated by a system known as hospital rating open the hospital rating panel now and let's have a browse uh where oh then there welcome to the hospital rating screen here we can review everything that's wrong with your hospital 
Not to worry, should it be terribly deficient, there are plenty of pro tips to explore in these various tabs. On this summary screen, we can review any common thoughts and complaints. What is curious decorations? Potential rewards you can earn. Feel free to peruse the remaining tabs at your leisure, or close the panel when you're ready to proceed. What are curious decorations? Director, Ms. Orion has sent over the details of a new room. Something about uh, investing in people. What a novel concept. Oh, these things. Training room is an environment in which our staff can gain experience with safe, gentle, ethical brainwashing. With the memory brainwashing ethical, okay. <laughs> it can be a bit much for their neuroplasticity to fully absorb, as well as pass out which families actually belong to them. Nothing too serious, though. People can be trained with other people's memories. Can I go? No, director. Let's get a training room built so we can help our staff become their best selves, whether they like it or not. A fine, fresh training room. Now, let's teleport a doctor in. They'll begin training immediately. Love it here. Director, heal? There th Oh. There's a little creature floating around in here. They're worth money. That's a Solark. Uh, Director, these critters are entirely harmless. And they'll deposit a large number of credits into our account when you catch them. That's why they could open accounts of their own. I'm... The banking sector is a disaster. Nice knife. Again, Galactica. I thought I'd pop back in and offer you some of my wares. I'll exchange any item for some credit. What is this? And just for you, there's always a freebie. Right now, I've got a. That's a fake doctor. Doc, cool. You call it. Oh, and I've also got a Medibot. Found him adrift in space a while ago. He was just spinning, really. Purchase an item. And I'll transport it over to your inventory. As for the hollow dock, I must insist that you take it. It keeps popping into existence inside my spleen. 